Hey guys, Monkey from Board Gamer here, um, or at least my left hand is anyway. Today I'm talking about the Razor Orb Weaver, and I'm going to talk about its viability for Star Citizen. Basically going to do a review and then chuck a game of Vandal Swarm Co-op at the end, uh, for anyone that wants to actually see it in action, though that's kind of irrelevant to the review. That's more of a gameplay with Orb uh, Weaver. So, what is the Orb Weaver? It's a mechanical gaming keypad with 30 programmable buttons, very clicky buttons, uh, a thumbpad, uh, and a couple of easy access buttons here and here. Uh, this one I use for targeting, and this one I use for spacebar. And um, they're quite expensive pieces of kit, though. Uh, around £95 in the UK, and about $100 in the US. Um, but they are a lot cheaper than buying a high-end gaming keyboard. Um, it uses very clicky Cherry MX Blue switches, um, which have been Razer branded. Uh, the keys require quite a firm press. I think it's 50 gram activation. Uh, there's a stealth variant of it that's a lot even more expensive, which has fractionally easy easier to press buttons down. I think they're 45 grams activation. Um, just easier to press. Doesn't reduce the sound at all, really. I mean, unless you've got some sort of super hearing. And it's still bloody clicky. Um, but 50 grams is about a little bit more than a keyboard, normal keyboard that you'd normally have. So the thumbstick here has got basically eight direction movement, or you can program it to individual buttons. Um, if you want, it's totally up to you. I have quite small hands, uh, but you can make this for bigger hands. There's a little lever on the bottom here, um, which you can hold, and then you can drag it out for whatever size hands you acquire. Um, so small, medium, or large hands are catered for. The software to program this is really easy to use as well. And uh, let me open it up. Um, so really simple to use this stuff. You can literally make profiles for individual games and then link them to the game. So when you run the game, uh, it runs that profile. You can change profiles at the touch of a key. So that's really useful if you're going from the seamless nature of Star Citizen, which will be first person shooter to ship flying to lots of different things could be happening. And um, you might need to change profile quick. Um, but you can program the buttons however you want. So I can literally, um, this button here is uh, control C. So it puts me in relative mode. Uh, I've changed this one to cap stop so it decouples me. Um, go to the side. Uh, this one's my space key. Uh, this one's my targeting key. It used to be Alt um, originally. Um, but you can set them to wherever you want. So this is W, S, A, D for me. Um, and I've got Z, X, C here. Um, F there. It's got all the keys I need. I haven't even finished programming yet. It's got Tab there, Shift there. The hand naturally, naturally um, rests on the thumbstick. And W, S, A, D and the Shift key. Which is great for flying around in Star Citizen pretty much. I haven't actually set these two and three keys, two, three, four keys. And yet I'll find use for them later. Um, possibly Y, uh, so I can target my friendlies or something. I don't know. Um, I really like the idea of this as an alternative to a throttle, uh, or just like to add to a key, uh, joystick setup, um, or just to get rid of your keyboard. Get your keyboard off the desk, so you've got more mouse room, loads of mouse room, um, and it's just really useful. I just find it a lot better than my keyboard, to be honest. There are cheaper alternatives, though, uh, in the form of the Razer uh, Tartarus, or the Logitech G13, which are around um, 60 to $65, or about 50 quid in the UK. Um, they aren't mechanical, though, uh, and have a few less buttons. But for some, that actually might be better. The clickiness of the mechanical keyboard uh, actually annoys me. Um, and having a few less buttons, I mean, there's three or four I don't actually need on here, um, or I could macro if I needed to, or press a button and do other stuff as well. So um, maybe a few less buttons for Star Citizen actually would be fine. I really recommend this Orb Weaver, though, due to the clickiness, I have ordered some O-rings to reduce the sound so it doesn't get picked up on my microphone. You can hear that, that would be annoying. Um, you'll see in gameplay in a minute. It's annoying. Um, for that very reason, I wish I'd actually gone for the Tartarus without its super clickiness. Anyway, I'm going to jump into a game of Vandal Swarm now. Um, I really like the fact I've just got so much desk space on my mouse now with that keyboard gone. Um, my keyboard just clicks up most of my desk. Um, I think it's really useful. And I'm going to think, I think it's going to be really useful when trying to capture people's ships, having to eject, jumping on people's ships, going from first person shooter to, to flying. Because um, you can have your joystick here. Um, I, I just, I, oh, yeah, I think it's a great thing. I think it's a great little product. So, right, so I just really like it because I can jump around my hanger. It's, it's, it's just like a keyboard, let's face it. It is just an expensive keyboard. But the quality of it, the build quality of it is absolutely superb. Um, the other cheaper alternatives, they won't be mechanical, um, but, and as I said, that might be a good thing to some people, because they won't be clicky as hell. This is clicky, even with my headphones on, it's clicky as hell. Um, if it's annoying you in the video, the clickiness, 
and don't get one of these. Don't get an orb weaver because they are mechanical. They're going to be clicky as hell. And also, it does take a little while to get used to it. The first few games I was playing with it, I just lost where my hands were. But now my hands sit naturally on it. It's like using a whole new gaming device. Um, but I just like the idea of it that I can be running around in the, like, my hangar and then jump into a ship um, and change profile if I need to. But I don't need to change profile. So I don't need that many keys yet. Right, let's jump into um, bring the commander. Build quality, super high. I couldn't get into a public Morning. game. For some there reason, the servers were down. But who, who would have thought it would uh, start at 1.1? Um, but uh, yeah, so I've Initiate. jumped into a uh, bot match. Um, so I'm going to press this button, go into relative mode, Contact. and see some more about my setup now as well. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this little, this little gaming pad, clickety-click. Uh, I haven't actually got a use for the thumb pad, but I'm going to uh, set it up so it controls the power in my shields, I think. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do. So I can target with that button. Uh, on my mouse, I've got a button, button to um, target focus. Take out a target nice and easy and quick. And then, bottom left, uh, I've got set up a shift. So I can use my thrusters. Getting a little bit of lag there, just because stuff's starting to explode. I'm not used to actually having... Eliminate. So many people on my team. Um, normally everyone leaves so we can't get into a game of Amber Storm. Um, I just go up to the first three waves uh, so you can see how I use it. But uh, not very well apparently. My guy took a few shots. Yeah. But it's just got all the keys you need. Um, also, uh, I've actually found a use for these now, thinking about it, and I've already set them up so I can adjust my power settings with them. Because, um, especially with the 325A and running an Omni Sky build that I do, um, I find that I have power issues. Um, so, switching between them um, when I need power in certain systems is always a good thing. I'm not sure why I was flying over there, but uh, now you can see me flying. <laughs> you can even. Just, oh, I just really like this. It feels just so expensive. Because it's pretty expensive, probably. Um, right. Yeah, it feels like I. That should definitely be set to um, doing shields. Should be pretty good. Oh, shit. And my French. I thought that guy should have been dead. Guy took a few more shots than I intended as well. Right. Let's, uh, let's take out these guys. I just, I really like it. It just feels nice. Uh, and I've got so much space on my desk to wiggle my mouse around. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I, I apologise for being bad at aiming today. Um, I'm trying to get away from using target focus to aim for me all the time. Yeah. This target focus is nice. And trying to ram me. You notice as well when it's, even though it says you can't hit a lot of the time, you're still better to hit. Um, sorry about the explosion lag. I think that's just common to everyone. Anytime something explodes in Star Citizen, you get that form of lag. But I, I think this probably that is just a great piece of kit. Um, you see me wiggling there. Um, and also the firm button presses actually feel quite nice. I mean, it's, everything I do is very definite except for banging to hit my target. Oh, come on! Right, please target focus. So, target focus, basically your guy tries to keep the target in view, uh, and if you're flying relative mode on a mouse and you haven't adjusted your sensitivity on your mouse, uh, it makes it a lot easier, because um, it will kind of pull towards them, uh, and that combined with ESP, which is enhanced stick precision uh, in relative mode, basically means that you're You've got auto aim on. Is it basically what it is? Um, so I'm going to turn auto aim on <laughs> uh, to kill the first couple of guys in a wave. Here, just below the where it tells me to. I am really bad at aiming today. I do apologise, but at least you can see that I don't keep on filming until I do it right. So, so uh, normally I would have uh, launched some form of countermeasure as well. Um, they are, these are set up. Uh, both change and launch are here. So 
sometimes I think I need to change the sensitivity up on my mouse, but then I'm not very good at precise aiming. Um, and it's really hard to change it up and down on your mouse repeatedly because I forget what mode it's on. Uh, just in case that missile decides to re lock on me. You can see that, I mean, it's a good little bit of kit. Measure. Um, although it does sound like it impacted pretty close to me, didn't it? Right. Oh, I just realised that my uh, wreck missiles have run out. Um, so I knew he was going to try and get me to ram him there. Uh, so I twisted around a bit. Alright, let's take off target focus because I find it with elites. They uh, avoid target focus pretty well. Oh! Initiate. Missile evaded, possibly with my heart. I really like the orb breather. I think it's a great bit of kit. I've got a little bit of sweat on the keys. The keys are very sweaty. And this rubber pad here does make me sweat quite a lot. Um, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's really useful. And uh, it really suits my needs. And I think it's a really good choice for Star Citizen. Although, as I said, there are a few alternatives out there. Like the G13. Uh, like the Tartarus. Uh, and I think there's an Ostromo as well, which even has a little mouse wheel on it. Um, but the Orb Weaver, really great. The Stealth, it's a bit more money. And literally, I think all it is, is it uses brown switches rather than cherry blue switches. Which means that instead of a 50 gram activation, it's a 45 gram activation. And, I mean, I actually quite like the stiffness of the keys. Um, in fact, you have to push them down. I just don't like the thickness, so I bought some O rings. Uh, and hopefully, when they come in and I get them installed, it'll be quieter. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. This was a very rambly video, so I do apologise for that. I really like this. Hope you did as well. And even if you didn't, at least you've made up your mind to not get one. Anyway, you take care, guys, and I'll see you in the verse. Pew, pew.